Bienvenidos and welcome to Sun Kissed Chris. Hi friends, thanks for joining me today on Sun Kissed Chris. Today, I know I usually go out and do adventurous things under the beautiful sunshine, but today I'm going to be taking you to a place where they go around the world where there is sunshine and beauty and bring it in and that's Trader Joe's. Have you been there? Do you have a favorite that you buy there? I received a text message from my friend and she said, make sure you get the pita crackers. She said they're absolutely delicious. And she also said the Pasadena salad. Now the reason that the Pasadena salad and Pasadena and all that is special is because Trader Joe's, and you probably know this, started in Pasadena, California. And that's special to me because that's where I grew up. So I remember as a little girl, my mother taking me by the hand, we were there for ever, but she was busy checking out all this wonderful imported, you know, these imported foods and items. And so when I was done with the shopping day with her, she rewarded me with their honeycomb. They had dark chocolate and milk chocolate honeycomb, and it was so worth being a good girl. What do you buy when you go there? Uh, I know that um, somebody told me their wines are just phenomenal. Now, I am not a wine drinker, but I'll check those out when I go. So this is in Orlando, Florida, by the way. It's not in Pasadena, California. I don't live there anymore. I haven't lived there in ages. Again, I'm the nomad. So please join me. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. thing at Trader Joe's or what's the most popular thing here? My favorite thing are the Thai chili and lime cashews. Oh. They're so unique and incredible and every time I put them out for guests or my friends, yes. it's always a conversation starter of like, where do these come from? Yes. And then we end up talking about Trader Joe's. So. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go get some. Go get some. <laughs> they were so good they were sold out so i got the chili and garlic cashews instead when someone says cashew you say gesundheit get it cashew hi friends i am just going to interject this really quick little video clip and let you know that i was able to videotape outside of trader joe's However, when I went inside, I was asked not to film, which kind of caught me off guard because I watched several videos prior to going in there and I saw people that had put YouTube videos out where they had filmed inside the entire store. Um, some with very popular channels, others not so, and I thought it would be cool. Anyway, long story short, the manager was extremely polite and diplomatic, and so I respect his wishes. Now, this is just a picture of a wine that this man who volunteered to show me his very favorite wine and why he drives so far to come to Trader Joe's, and it's a cross between a Pinot and a Merlot. Hi, friends. I'm going to show you what I got at Trader Joe's. I bought these pita crackers that my dear friend told me to buy, and I ate half the box on the way home. They were so delicious. If you like pita, you will love them. And this is what they look like. They're really light and flaky little round bite-sized crackers. So they'd be great for having hors d'oeuvres. You could put a pate on top or, you know, whatever. Um, but they're delicious. And I got some oranges to get my vitamin C. Okay. And then no bread because I like to make French toast in the morning with cinnamon and maple syrup. But they also have that type of uh, breakfast foods that are already pre-made in the frozen section at Trader Joe's if you like. And I got some turkey for sandwiches. And this Amazing. Is uh, these are very crunchy and they have a, a really unique flavor to them. They come in these little containers like this and this is how thin they are. They're delicious. Now, um, I'm gonna put the, the price of everything that I purchased in the description box below, so. And then I broke into these delicious uh, smoked seasoned almonds. Now, these really do taste like barbecue potato chips. So if you want a healthier alternative, Buy some of these, they're amazing. They're so good. 
And then, of course, I got, now these are a little bit milder. They didn't have any like spiciness to them like the um, Thai chili lime that that sweet girl in the front of outside of Trader Joe's recommended. I think those might be a little bit spicier. That's just my guess, but I gotta try those sometime. And then I got the wonderful dark chocolate candy bars. And there's three, as you can see, in a package. And these, they have almonds. And then I got some orange chicken for when I don't want to fuss or muss at night for dinner. I can just heat this up in the microwave over a bed of white or fried rice, which they have there at Trader Joe's as well. Got, oh yes. I don't know if you've ever had these before, but they're wonderful. These are called Brookies. Now I did heat one up when I got home and basically it's a chocolate chip cookie over a brownie, hence the name Brookie. And they're really good. So just heat them up for about 12 seconds in the microwave. And then you could even serve them on top of ice cream or with some Hershey syrup. And then I have the fettuccine Alfredo, which you can, I like to serve this over my Swedish meatballs that I make. And I think it tastes really good, but you could add chicken. If you prefer to have chicken. So that's nice, heat up nice and fresh. Last but not least, I got the strawberry raspberry Rossini. And the thing that's so great about this is that if you like like strawberry daiquiris, you are gonna love this. It's so refreshing. And, uh, but I gotta tell you something about the top. When you take this top off, doesn't that look like there would be a cork in there and a screw and you have to take the wire off and all that? Well, no, <laughs> it just uncaps. You just unscrew it. So if you do go to Trader Joe's and you buy this, you don't have to wrestle with it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, blessed are those who are curious for they shall find adventures. Be the light.